Hey, it's Jim Chu. Um, this is just this week's the Reddit, uh, the Sim subreddit build challenge. This week it's nightclub, which I wasn't really gonna bother with, because I don't really tend to build nightclubs, and I was like, I'm not sure how I could have fun with that. But uh, then I was, I was thinking about more, because I really want to build something, but I don't know what to build, so I was like, maybe I should just leave it go, you know? We gotta your build shell, you know? That's the point, right? And then I was like, you know what we don't have in game? Like, not by default, and I certainly haven't built one before now. A vampire nightclub. You know, where are all our vampires going, you know? They don't have their fancy lounge that was back in Sims 3. What's that called? Like, Plasma 501 or 101 or whatever it was. Now, this is not, this is not Plasma. This is not as fancy as that, as that you know? This is in Forgotten Hollow, you know? It's on so many lots, it's in one of the smaller lots. And it's sort of just been in a uh, kind of abandoned, supposedly abandoned building that they've just fixed up to be a little night spot of their own. So, you know, it's nothing too fancy, it's nothing too special, but you know, it's got what you need. Uh, the rules for this week were like two bathrooms, because you can't have unisex bathrooms, you need the man's and the woman's, and they gotta have four stalls. So that's what those very obvious two rooms at the back are. And otherwise, it just has to be two floors and have two bars and be over 75,000 simoleons, which this is. This ends up being 103 something simoleons. Like 103,000 something but not just 103 simoleons. I'd be impressed if <laughs> you're just go, yep, yeah, I'll buy that for 103 simoleons, sure thing. So I, I have used a lot of red. First floor is, the bottom floor is like all sort of more red themed, and then the upper floor is more purple. Because, you know, all the vampire stuff came with those colors. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to take advantage of being able to use my two favorite colors and have it actually fit. Because, you know, they're stereotypically vampire-y working colors. You will notice the sort of weirdy outside bit to the left. That is going to become an outside dance area. That's where the DJ bit's going to be. Otherwise, it's just a bar and a shit ton of seating downstairs. And another bar and a smaller bit of seating upstairs, and also a little private room with a coffin for, well, anybody who wants to take a nap or do other things. You know, your sins have that option. They don't have to turn into bats. They can if they want to, though. Like, this is a vampire club. Who's going to stop them? Who would stop them if it wasn't a vampire club? You'd be like, oh my god, bats! <laughs> yeah, I kind of fiddle, fiddle around with that a little bit. I figured if pull might be a nice fancy centerpiece to the room and make it nice and purple. It's, it's all like, if it's not water, what is it? And I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe it's bloody water, fake blood or otherwise, you know? But it's a little bit different, so let's go with that. I just use a lot of candle paste lighting. I'm not sure if any of those are on the... Like, I think I mentioned before one time about there being a list on Reddit somebody made of all the lights that are look like candles that are not affected by the Europe Sims power going off. I'm not sure if any of the, the, the uh, vampire game pack ones fall into that category. If they do, that would be really cool. Not that it'll matter on a commercial lot, but be cool. It would be cool. It's just like candles. Going for that aesthetic either way. And putting in a bunch of coffee tables. I totally forgot to add any music inside, so I put a couple of things in like sitting on the coffee tables. I can't remember the name of the thing, but you'll you'll see it. So, you know, the little old fashioned one, the tiny old fashioned one, that thing. <laughs> My game's open, I could literally just go check what that is called, because I literally cannot remember the name. It is sitting staring at me, but how dare I not remember its name? The Grammy phoned Grammy phone old fashioned music player. Mystery solved. Give me my Scooby snack. I put in the fireplace, I put in the book thing, so I was like, hey, maybe this is like a really famous vampire book that's like, maybe it's the first book or the ultimate, maybe it's the equivalent of the ultimate vampire tome, you know, or something older than that and more exclusive. And I just have it framed up there, like, say the original edition or whatever. And I also put up a little crest of arms thing, which I kind of forgot we even had. Because <laughs> there's a dragon edit. I think that's cool. Because I was while I was building this, I was watching this like mockumentary, uh, the last, the last of the dragons, the last dragon, whatever, and it's like done as if if dragons were real but went extinct kind of thing. 
How did they survive? You'd have the dancers and stuff, and you'd follow, like, one dragon, and... Of course, it ends up all sad, because humans... I mean, yeah, okay, the dragon was eating their sheep, but, like, the dragon had to. You didn't have to go kill the dragon's baby, and then the dragon, while well, she was hibernating... If you can't tell, I'm 100% team dragon. <laughs> I just love anything dragons. Where I'm doing floors. Yeah, I need to remember this is not as long as my other speed builds. I pay attention to the time. So, yeah. Purples, reds, blacks, and stuff. I figured a oh, nice hot tub. I thought I could picture your soon just holding a drink. Enjoying the moonlight in the hot tub. Because the vampires, you know, there's no daylight here. And then they can run inside during the daylight. It'll be fine. So, yeah, this place is a little bit dark in corners and places. The upstairs is a bit more w well lit, but the downstairs is darker. Um, I mean, I get that might not be everybody's thing. Feel free to throw more lights in there, but I was like, it's vampires. They don't need a shit ton of lights. This is this is the aesthetic I'm going for. It doesn't have to be brilliantly well lit. Like, the room with the coffin literally has no lights, because, uh, I don't think they're gonna need lights in there. Not at all. <laughs> I'm just, like, shoving out the, uh, Dining tables out there because I needed it to be a nightclub. <laughs> but you know, I figured you know, you should for the drinks. Maybe they want to go outside, but they don't want to dance and they don't want the hot tub. They don't want to maybe walk all the way upstairs to the benches. Maybe they can go sit out there. It's fine. Maybe they brought a picnic and just some screenshots. So that's it, like more very late morning and it's a bit brighter. And my Sims in there casually getting a drink. And like I said, it's meant to be darker, not too well lit, but you, know, you can still see where you're going. And the bathrooms are super well lit because you know, your vampires gotta be able, to be able to not see themselves in those mirrors. <laughs> see, see, there's the Dragon Quest thing. My Sim dances in his work clothes. Would you just change back in your normal clothes once, please? I beg you. And I put the nice tree. I like to touch the tree in the tree in the pool. I was just going for it. Like, sure. Yeah, let's have the dead tree in the pool. It's pretty. Yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. I have builds that are actually better than that, but this was just for fun. Um, yeah. Thanks for getting this far. Have a nice day.